glad humidity is low and the temperatures are going back up. Just all around nice and comfortable, Marty. Yeah, I just happened to glance for the first time since I walked in the studio right about 11 o'clock at the humidity. 41% this time yesterday. Go ahead and take a look. 44%. If you like yesterday, cut and paste the way it felt when you walked out the door on today. And there you have the first alert forecast. Go ahead and take a look. 81 degrees right now. 44% humidity. Barometers at 3006. Visibility, 10 miles. As the birds saying, I can see for miles. And we have a gentle east-southeast breeze at 5. That's, that, that accounts for a little uptick in humidity, to be quite honest about it. Let's go ahead and show you some... Uh, show you some radar. There's just, just nothing out there but inversion. That is just crown clutter if you want to really look at it that way. Big high pressure. Twin domes of high pressure absolutely guard our weather. And once again, as I mentioned yesterday, they're exerting an easterly component here and offshore. That's going to play into a discussion of Ernesto in just a second. Also, I know we've got an east-southeast breeze trying to push some of these clouds and moisture our way, but in the bigger picture, you've got these highs with that enormous clockwise rotation suppressing this moisture well down to our south. And that's where it's going to stay as we move through the day for the most part. Let's go ahead and talk about temperatures around your, in your neighborhood, on your corner. It's just magnificent. 83 in Rosedale right now, 81 in Ellicott City, 78 Reisterstown, Ridstock, and Riviera Beach, 78 Edgemere, 79 Jobtown, 80 degrees in Aberdeen and in Abingdon. Just an absolutely super day. Tomorrow, let's jump up to Baltimore County and say hi. We're going to see it a little more humid, a little warmer now in the mid to mid upper 80s. But that is normal for this time of the year. We've actually been below normal the past few days. We'll get back to average. Average is the word now, not normal. It's a, it's a historical average. We'll get back to average. You want to say normal, that's fine. Uh, here tomorrow in Baltimore County. Futurecast, I'm going to hit the button and I'm not going to let it stop. I just want you to notice that every once in a while you'll see a little bit of a pop-up shower not to, not unexpected given an uptick in humidity and temperature, but for the most part, we are rain-free and basically, other than a few passing shade clouds, cloud-free. That's all the way through Thursday. Then life does indeed begin to change. Now, here's Ernesto. Uh, by Thursday morning, you know, situated to stay out in the middle of the ocean, and now making that that big turn due to Coriolis force and its own and its own force uh, a little bit further on off to the east before making a northerly turn headed up to the Canadian Maritimes. And it's that easterly flow I was talking about from those twin highs that's going to exert the force to keep this thing out to sea. But we will see ripples moving our way if you're going to any of the beaches. Uh, the Maryland beaches, Delaware, Jersey, if you're going anywhere to the coast this weekend, pay attention to the lifeguards. Okay, so here you go. 85 today, 87, then 90. There's that uptick in a little bit of humidity, a little bit of temperature, but nothing, as I showed you on that heat index graphic, Nothing real oppressive. Then Friday late, here comes some showers, 86. There's a chance of storms the next three days. Are any of these days going to be a washout? No, but there's no day where I can actually look at you and say, no chance of rain. Chance of storms Saturday and Sunday, 87 both days, 87 on Monday.